What's going on, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Huh, it's your girl, Miss Pretty You. Where have I been? Well, my birthday was Thursday, the 20th. Big, big, huge shout out to Slim Shell. She gave me a beautiful, beautiful shout out on her channel. Big shout out to her mom, Miss Christine. And the other young lady, Um, I type her name up here in the front, Pleasure. I can't remember her whole name and I apologize, but we all shared the same birthday. Happy birthday, ladies. Um, I hope y'all had lived y'all day to the fullest. Big shout out to my boo, Miss Sharice3210. Hey, Miss Sharice. How you doing, girl? She so awesome. She sent me a beautiful gift. Then uh, she sent me another gift a month ago, about a month, month and a half ago. And I meant to do a video to show you guys what she sent me, but life has happened. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but um, also Miss Cutie Misbehave, um, Cutie Misbehaving. Listen, she sent me some um black sea oil. Um, honestly, about a few months ago, and I apologize. <laughs> I haven't did the video, I've been up here, y'all. <sighs> Life has happened. Miss MKB lady, she sent me a beautiful gift. Shout out to her. I had won her giveaway before the last. Um and uh, miss miss now we know her as miss authentic epic boom but she has a cooking channel now and it's called voila voila so big shout out to those wonderful and beautiful ladies big shout out to all of my beautiful supporters let's get into this so a couple things first of all i'm gonna do my best to stop cussing I know it's hard that's who i am but i'm trying to take a professional stance as far as where i want my career to go i'm gonna be honest when i'm off camera i cuss like a sailor yes i do but i want to change my persona on camera as far as that i can't say everything else i want to be me i'm gonna be me but i want to try my hardest to eliminate that as much as i can i'm gonna try to do this in 10 minutes or less y'all the other thing is um life has happened i'm not a depressed person i said this in another video in other videos previously but i think depression set in so a month and a half and i wasn't going to share this um because you know i'm very private but i want to bring awareness to our community and all women out there um so years ago um i'm gonna try to explain this as quickly as i can so years ago um my daughter's 11 she's my last child i have four kids i have for those that are new to my channel i have two boys two girls um so perfect complete i don't need any more children right so um i tied my tubes after my last daughter now my menstrual cycles have always been heavy and um when i tied my tubes it got worse so I didn't get why. So I had to get on birth control, which the doctor suggested would regulate my period or give me a break from bleeding like a hog. And as a result, I'm anemic. And I've been anemic for at least the last 10 years or more of my life or known anemic for the last 10 years. But I probably was suffering with it in the past. But anyway, I have to take iron and all that. So I got on. I'm not going to say the name of the birth control. Um, I'm going to actually I'm going to say, I, OK, I got on a shot. And most ladies know what that is if they've ever been on it or heard of it. And I had got on a couple of different types of pills. So, with that being said, I personally believe that the shot contributed to it because that's what I was on throughout, you know, once I became sexually active or once I started having children, that's what I was on. And we know with the shot, it contributes to weight gain, hair loss, all kind of things. So, I've been doing some research. And I was like, okay, I talked to my gynecologist here in Georgia. And my gynecologist in Florida has suggested the ablation. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with an ablation. Ablation, how it works, is basically they burn the lining of your uterus and it prevents you from either, it either lessens your period to very, very, very light flow where it's barely anything for a couple of days and you're done with your period. Or it'll alleviate your period completely for seven years minimum or well that might be maximum but anyway 
the point is, um, I just, it was that or go back on birth control. I don't want to do birth control anymore because I don't trust it. Now, women have to do what women have to do. Women are not willing to, don't want to, some women don't want to tie their tubes because they might want to have other children or they never had children and they don't want to give up on having them. Um, some women just don't, you know, believe in that. And the other thing is, um, birth control is how, how they live, you know, in order for them to have a, 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 a fulfilled life and be able to manage from getting pregnant that's what they do me personally i'm not messing with birth control anymore and here's why so i found out years and years ago that i had a small bubble about that big on my liver maybe about that big eh, small maybe about a centimeter in circumference right so I went to the doctor, got an MRI done, got an ultrasound, got all that done. This was this was probably when my daughter was like a bit, my youngest child was like two or three. She was little. So they said, it's just a blood vessel that's a bubble. Nothing to worry about because it's so small. Don't worry about it. Go on with your life. You're good to go. You sure? You're positive. Okay, cool. That's what the doctor said after all the tests. For a year and a half, I've been having pain in my side. I don't know if I mentioned that on the videos, but that was a reality of mine. And I guess I have a high tolerance for pain. I would take something sometimes when it became unbearable, or I would just drink water and the pain would go away. Y'all finally went to the doctor. And it's crazy how our system is set up because I work full time. And I hustle on the side. Matter of fact, I'm about to hustle in a few when I'm done with this video. And that's why y'all haven't seen me also because I'm trying to hustle and get my money right. And we're going to tell you in a minute uh, partly why. But of course, we want to have money to survive. Turn my AC on, y'all. It's on, but I need to turn it up. It's getting hot. So, I don't think I'm going to do this in 10 minutes. But, <laughs> but the point is, finally could went to the doctor the reason why i hadn't went before i left florida i went and they said they wanted to check my urine because they seen protein in my urine and i'm like protein in my urine but this was like a week or two after i had uh was getting ready to this was a week and a half before i was moving to georgia i moved to georgia on may 28th and long story short um long story short I'm trying to get my thoughts together i'm sorry y'all I basically um, had to leave. So I started the first process of going to the doctors and everything, but I had to leave and I wasn't working in Florida. So um, when I was in Florida before I left, because it was hard for me for some reason to find a job. I don't know, and Florida normally is really good with that, but it was very hard for me to find employment.